Hi, welcome to the Big Bear Homestead. And today, in our home maintenance series, we're gonna run the water lines for our shower. All right, so today we gotta shift gears again because once again, the big box store has not gotten our skirting material in. So, we're going to just go on to the next project until this comes in, and we're going to run our hot and cold water lines in this area over here where we're going to put the shower. So, what we need to do first is, obviously we've got to remove this tin roofing stuff here that Robin wants to put up on the walls, and then we've got to pull some of the insulation out, and then we're going to drill through a two by four and maybe even on, in a beam underneath the house. We're going to be using a three quarter inch um, auger bit. Couldn't think of auger there for a second. We're gonna use a three quarter inch auger bit to, to drill our holes to run our hot water and cold water up here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll come back and we'll tell you what the next step's gonna be. All right, so we've got the corrugated tin moved and we got the insulation folded up, up and out of the way. Now, <laughs> there's an electrical outlet right here. So we're going to have to take and disconnect the outlet, pull those wires back down underneath the house and remove the box and get it out of there. I mean, I could probably get away with leaving it there, but it goes into the girls' room, and there's another one not 10 feet away. That room has more than enough electrical outlets in it. So we're going to go ahead and pull that one out, and then we'll get ready to drill. So let us pull that out, and we'll be right back. All right. Blaze has got the electrical box and the outlet out. So now... I'm going to have him drill a line for the cold water or a hole for the cold water line and then a hole for the hot water line. Once that gets done, we'll be back and show you how we're going to run the pipes. All right, Blaze got our two holes drilled, as you guys seen. Now we're going to go underneath the house and we're going to watch Blaze connect the water lines to come up but he's also going to be installing a ball valve on each one so that way we can turn the water off and on from underneath the house in case something ever breaks inside here we won't have to cut all the water off to the house because look let's just be honest sometimes things just decide to break in the middle of the night where you can't go to the home depot or the Lowe's and get the parts you need so instead of having to shut the water off to the entire house, we'll be able to just shut it off here at the shower, no different than how we did our tub. We'll be able to shut it off right here at the shower. We'll still have use of the tub and water to the house. The commode will be able to flush and it'll be good to go until we can get to the store to get the parts that we need. So we're going to watch Blaze do that and then we'll be back to finish up. Okay, and there you have it. We've run the lines up through. We're gonna stop right there, okay, because one, mama has to pick out her shower head, or really we've got to discuss the shower head because I want that big honking mama jamma one that's like a big thunderstorm that comes down on you. Ha, ha, ha. And so once we discuss that, then we'll have to go get that and then get that so then that way we can mount that right here. We'll have to chip out some of the stud a little bit, I think, to be able to put it in there. So then we'll have to extend those lines up, 90 them in, then it'll come in. That's if it's one of those one things. If it's one where it's two knobs, we'll come up to the knobs, and then it'll marry in, 
and run up to the shower and come out that way on however we run it and mount it. So that's it for this week's video in our home maintenance series on plumbing up the shower. Hopefully next week we'll backtrack and be able to put the skirt around the tub. Thanks for coming by the Big Bear Homestead and like always, have a nice day. Mm -hmm.